League of Legends is one of the biggest games on the planet, with a huge player base, thriving esports scene, and a roster of nearly 140 champions. Choosing which one to play as is a daunting task, so we've made a list of the 10 best League of Legends champs to help you get started. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more League of Legends videos. The aim of the game is to destroy the opposing team's base or nexus by felling the towers and inhibitors that are in the way. The game ends when either nexus is destroyed. Starting with top lane, you can't go wrong with Garen. He's a powerful tank with a kit that keeps him out of trouble while letting him deal plenty of damage. His Q, Decisive Strike, silences enemies, making them unable to use their own abilities for a short time. He can use this alongside his E, Judgment, which sees him damage opponents by repeatedly spinning his sword. Once their health is low, Garen can finish them off with his ultimate, Damasian Justice, which summons a huge sword. Are you detecting a theme here? If you run into trouble, use your W, Courage, to reduce the damage you take. Once you're safe, you can rely on your passive ability, Perseverance. This heals Garen at an accelerated rate, letting him get back into the fight quickly. The glory of Damasia will never fade. Another top lane is Nasus, who relies on last hitting minions. The reason this is so important for Nasus is that if he kills the minion with his Q, Siphoning Strike, the ability permanently gains extra damage. By the late game, a good Nasus can chunk enemy health bars with one swing of his staff. Like Garen, Nasus is good at getting out of trouble. His W, Wither, slows enemies to a crawl, allowing him to make his escape. If things get bad, his ultimate makes him grow in size and gain loads of health. Gaining loads of health is useful because, well, I think you probably know why. My fire be purged. Moving to the jungle, it's a whole other story. Rather than farming minions or facing off against an enemy lane opponent, you're largely on your own. Instead, you have to get your gold and experience from neutral jungle camps, something many champions struggle with. The ones who can hack it here are called junglers, who are also hugely important for ganking, diving into lanes to ambush enemies. Half woman, half dragon, Shivana's abilities focus around her fiery breath and sharp fangs and let her burn through jungle camps while staying healthy. Her passive, Fury of the Dragonborn, gives Shivana an advantage against the powerful elemental dragons. It also gives her a defensive boost if she manages to take one down. She can use her skills in an easy to pull off combo to help rip through monsters and champions alike. Her Q, Twin Fangs, gives her next bonus attack a boost. Her W, Burnout, speeds her up and damages everyone around her. And her E, Flame Breath, well, she's a dragon. If you can't figure that out, I can't help you. Shivana's ultimate is her most impressive ability. She transforms into a dragon, launching herself into battle against her enemies and trailing fire behind her. The extra power it offers her abilities makes it a hugely impactful move. Suffer my fury. Another strong jungler is the lightning-powered bear, Volibear. That's right, we're back in the Pokemon school of character names and loving it. Volibear can use his Q, Rolling Thunder, to gank enemies by sprinting out of the jungle towards them before flinging them backwards over his head. Once he has hold of them, he can slow them down with his E, Majestic Roar, and then finish them off with his W, Frenzy. If that wasn't enough, Volibear's ultimate, Thunderclaws, shoots lightning. It deals magic damage to up to eight nearby enemies, making him a potent threat in a teamfight. He's also more than happy in the jungle, happier than most bears would be anyway. His E terrifies nearby minions, making them flee. And if his health gets low, his passive, Chosen of the Storm, kicks in to heal him up. Ugh, face the storm! The mid lane is normally the home of high damage, high crowd control mages. Getting the right skills off at the right time can devastate your opponents here. While mid laners have to be careful not to get too close to the action, they're some of League of Legends' most powerful characters. Annie is both one of LoL's most adorable and most dangerous champions. She's a powerful fire mage capable of burning through entire teams. Her passive lets her build up charges and every fifth spell cast unleashes a stun on her opponents. Her Q, Disintegrate, lets her conserve mana in lane and her W, Incinerate, helps her control minion waves. Her E, Molten Shield, deals damage to nearby enemies while reducing incoming attacks. But Annie isn't at her best unless she's got her bear, Tibbers, by her side. I guess we should have called this guide the bare necessities of lol, am I right? No? Okay, moving on. When Annie summons Tibbers with her ultimate, he doesn't only deal damage as he lands, but sticks around for a while, attacking enemies who stray too close. Tibbers can also be controlled by Annie after he's cast, letting her use him to chase down targets. Get him, Tibbers! Morgana is another dangerous mage. Like Annie, she has high crowd control and is able to lock down enemies with her Q, Dark Binding. 
From there, she can combo with her W, Tormented Soil, dealing a lot of damage. To secure the kill, Morgana can wade into the fight with her ultimate, Soul Shackles, dealing damage and stunning enemies who stay too close. If you don't fancy heading mid, Morgana's E, Black Shield, also makes her a handy support. Morgana can use Black Shield to protect allies and herself from incoming crowd control and magic damage. A few choice items transform Morgana into a utility mage, able to put down damage but also help out her team. I'll have my revenge. Moving into the bottom lane of Summoner's Rift, you can usually find two champions. Bot lane is occupied by an attack damage carry, or ADC, and a support. These two characters work together, with the ADC looking to deal as much damage as possible, and the support trying to keep them alive. Caitlyn is the quintessential ADC. She's long ranged, which helps to keep her out of harm's way, and she can shred through entire teams if she's left alone. Her Q, Piltover Peacemaker, allows her to knock enemies down from a distance, while her W and E let her keep foes at bay. Still, Caitlyn's most effective at the back of a fight, using auto attacks to deal huge amounts of damage before finishing off stragglers with Ace in the Hole. That's not a figure of speech. Her ultimate is literally called Ace in the Hole. So many bad guys, so little time. While many ADCs just want to deal loads of damage, Ash has a few extra tricks up her sleeve. Her passive, Frost Shot, and her W, Volley, both slow enemies, making running away from Ash pretty hard work. She's also got her E, Hawk Shot, which she can fire across the map to provide all-important vision. She still deals plenty of damage though. Ash's Q is Ranger's Focus. After she's built up four stacks by attacking enemy units, she can activate this ability to release a flurry of arrows, increasing her attack speed and dealing bonus damage. Unlike many ADCs, Ash also plays a key role in starting fights. Her ultimate, Enchanted Crystal Arrow, fires a shot across the entire map, stunning the first enemy it hits for up to 3.5 seconds. My arrows fly true. Of course, ADCs would be nothing without their supports. These characters are arguably the most important in the game, responsible for everything from keeping their team alive to starting fights. And if starting fights is your thing, Leon is a perfect place to start. There aren't many champions more capable at crowd control, allowing her to engage on the enemy team and locking down their most powerful champions. Her Q, Shield of Daybreak, and E, Zenith Blade, both stun enemy champions. And if that weren't enough, she can also use her ultimate to call down a huge solar flare to keep any enemies caught in it slowed or stunned. If things go wrong, Leona's ready for that too. Her W, Eclipse, grants her extra armor and magic resist, helping her get out of tricky situations. And there's no reason all that CC can't be used defensively to help her team out of a tight spot either. Feel the sun's glory. On the other side of the support coin, there's Jana. While Leona and her tanky support brethren are happy wading into the fight, squishier supports need to hang out near their ADC. This helps them stay alive through a mix of shields, healing and lower level CC. Jana has a little bit of everything. Her Q, Howling Gale, fires a whirlwind, knocking up any enemies it hits. It can be used alongside her W, Zephyr, to keep her enemies away in a pinch. Meanwhile, Eye of the Storm shields allies while increasing their attack damage and can even be used on allied turrets. Jana's ultimate, Monsoon, is the perfect complement to all of this kit pushing enemies away while healing nearby allies. Honestly, it'll totally alter your views on rain. The storm approaches. Right, that's the end of our list of the 10 best League of Legends champions for beginners. But is there anyone we've missed out? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to like and subscribe for more.